Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Carnes in my kitchen with my mom, Brenda, and today we're making for you yummy rolls. Now we've made these at our house for a really long time and we're gonna make them for you today using Schwabel's Giant Bread. So mom, tell me, how do I get started? Well, to get started, you're gonna take about four slices of bread. Okay. This would be the Giant Bread. And the thing that makes Schwabel so unique for this recipe is that it's so soft. The softness is a big, plus in this recipe when you I'll, sh I'll show you why in just a moment so you're just but cutting you're all the edges it, off I'm cutting the crust off with a serrated knife or a bread knife kind of nice okay and now we're gonna flatten these very nicely with a rolling pin okay lay them all out all right here I'll go ahead and try to do it give them a good flatten. oh yeah you're right this bread is so soft it's, it's so Easy to so flatten. easy to flatten out. That's why we've always used the Schwabel's Giant Bread. It's the softness of this bread that makes it so unique for this recipe. Yeah, so good. Right. As you said, we've been making this recipe for oh, just many years. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of cream cheese and powdered sugar mixed, and we're going to make when you make a spread with that. And you're gonna put a little bit on your bread. Okay. So again, this is just what cream cheese and confectionery sugar. Confectionery sugar. Very easy. Just mix those two together. And you you've told me in the past you don't want to fill them too full, right? No. You don't want to just don't kind fill of... them too full. Um, and because and they'll open up when you're baking them, and you don't want that to happen. You want them to stay in a real nice roll. Yeah, because we're gonna roll them in just a minute here as soon as I get all the ingredients in there they look so good already so in this case less is more less is more i didn't even think that could ever happen never you never thought it applied to anything i know <laughs> all right here we go all right so now we're gonna get ready to roll them well first then what we're going to do we're going to roll them and then we're going to um dip them in some melted butter so yes but when you roll roll tight tucking and each little roll, roll very slow and tight, okay. like you're doing there. That's Is it good? Perfect. Okay. Perfect. And then kind of set it down on its seam so it doesn't open up on you. Okay. Okay. And keep your little edges as much as you can together because it just makes a nicer roll. Okay. Now we're going to take our melted butter. Okay. We're going to dip them in the melted butter. Okay. So just so that all... So you just put it yes. in and roll it roll around? Roll around a minute, yes. Okay. Then hold it up and let it drain just a second. Let and it then, drip, drip, drip? Yep, drip, drip. And then you're going to put it over in the cinnamon and sugar. And just roll it? Roll it in there. Oh, that looks pretty. Don't be afraid to get it on there. <laughs> there we go. All right. Okay. Perfect. And then just repeat. Yep. Easy as that all in there not afraid to get it on there no there you go this is much easier with two people again I love when I have help in the kitchen yeah imagine that <laughs> I think all I mean, moms like that right did I tell you that <laughs> <laughs> we can get this job done a lot quicker if you come and help if me Sarah. we all do it together all and right again I'm gonna lay it on the side that is on the open seal side so that it doesn't open up in the oven. Okay. All right. And then Great. we're going to put it in the oven on 350, a preheated oven for 350 for about 10, 12 minutes. Okay. So if you want to put it in your oven. All right. Let's go ahead and do it. All right. And a couple things I might tell you while we're waiting for those is um, save your crusts. Don't throw them away. Um, you can always use these for to make croutons. I always make my homemade croutons for soups, for salads. They're just wonderful, even at, for stuffing. You know, if you're gonna stuff a chicken, you can, you can cube these. You can cube these up and then you have your, you can toast them. I put a little melted butter on there, maybe some garlic salt. Toast them in your oven. I usually like to um, bake them about 
375, 400 for about mm, maybe 10 minutes. Stirring once in between there. Um, and then bring them out and let them cool and they're wonderful. So it's kind of like a two-in-one recipe. There you go. <laughs>